guys, so I hope you're in the mood for a really long video because I got the inspiration from a couple of people who have the same syndrome as I do, which is called 22Q, or also known as King George, or also known as Bellocardiofacial Syndrome. I know, there's a lot of names. I don't know why there was an argument, I guess, with um, the founder and the co-founder or something. I don't know, but they were arguing over the name. I don't know, it's stupid, it's ridiculous, but anyway. So, yeah, I kind of wanted to, it kind of gave me confidence and encouragement to talk more about what I go through um, on a day-to-day -day basis with this syndrome and how I cope and how I deal with it. So, and talk about a little bit about anxiety and, you know, OCD, but about surgery. I did have open heart surgery. You can see, I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but I did have open heart surgery when I was two, no, four or three years old. But anyways, we're also going to be getting ready and everything and playing with makeup while talking about this stuff. So I'm taking first this ColourPop shade called Take Flight. I'm doing kind of a rainbow look today. But anyways, I had open heart surgery when I was four years old. And I've had a lot of other complications growing up, you know. I had speech problems. I couldn't talk. I can talk, but no one could understand me. <laughs> Just because I had a speech problem did not stop me from trying to get out what I wanted to say. Only my mom could understand what I wanted to say. I guess that's what she told me. She's like, oh, I understand what you said. No one else did, but I did. <laughs> so, yeah, open heart surgery is one of the defects that comes with um, 22Q. I had three holes in my heart. 22Q is something that you're born with, and my days are, you know, I have my good days and I have my bad days, but my mornings, <clears throat> well, let me kind of start off when I was little. I had open heart surgery, like I said, I had a, a cleft palate, I have um, something called hypo... Eternia, I think it's called, hypothermia or something, where your muscles are not as strong. And it's difficult for me every single morning. I would wake up every morning sick. I would have to, I, m most of my mornings spend going to the bathroom. I know that that's TMI, but, oh yes, now we're taking this shade, also from ColourPop, called OOO, and it's that bright, bright orange shade. I spend about, I want to say, two, one hour up and down going to the bathroom or trying to go to the bathroom. So it's very, it was always difficult for me in school. I was always late in school. Um, again, I was always sick because I have a, a bad immune system. And so I was constantly sick. I was constantly missing school. And 
and the teachers, most of the teachers hated me because I always missed school. It was hard for me to do my homework because, you know, I learned different than most people. It takes a lot longer for me to do things. Like this morning, for example, I woke up at 6.30 in the morning. I like to wake up at very, very early because I have my routines. And, but right now it's like 10 o'clock in the morning and I'm just now getting my makeup on. And it's because I have so much anxiety and for no reason at all. You know, I get very anxious over things. Going to the bathroom is one of them. Like when I go out with people, I always have to make sure there is a bathroom close by. I always have to make sure that, you know, it's comfortable for me. And nobody understood, nobody got it. And nobody still understands. I don't really have a lot of friends and I think some of that is because of my anxiety because I don't put myself out there and also with um, bellow craniofacial syndrome I find myself too that it's hard for me to get <laughs> And get things out that I want to say. So like if I'm all over the place and I don't make sense sometimes, it's because my brain is always going. My brain is always going for me and it never stops and so I'm always thinking about other things like while I'm talking and so I'll go ahead of myself sometimes. School was, like I said, always rough. I was sick every single morning with anxiety. You know, it was very difficult for me. I always was late to school. Like I said, I was always late. And it got so bad, the bullying and the teasing. At one point, I was homeschooled. And homeschooled homeschooling was fine but you know I was sta more stable and my life was better you know after I was homeschooled and I think I was ready to get back into school again so after I was after junior high that's the majority of my life where I was homeschooled I went back to high school and I lost a lot of weight because I also struggle with weight issues. Now I'm going to take this red shade from Sugar Pill and it's called Love Plus. So yeah, I decided to go back to high school. But the good thing about high school when I went is that I ended up making a group of friends and I didn't go to school full time. I only went a half day and I was able to get the rest of my work done at home. So I didn't really go to school full time. And I also had, like I said before, a cleft, um, a palette, a cleft palette. I would choke uh, every day on food, 
so my mom was afraid of, afraid for my life every single day because I would just choke because I had trouble swallowing. And yeah, in school, I was always made fun of. I still, like I said, don't have, you know, a lot of friends. I have one solid friend and even she lives out of town, so I don't see her that much. And like, you know, I can't just say, oh, I'm going to go out of town this weekend and see my, my friend. I can't do that by myself. I have to have someone help me. I mean, I can. I've traveled by myself before, but I was never even really by myself. You know, my mom kind of helped me navigate uh, my way through the airport. And um, somebody, I found someone to help me, you know, get to baggage claim. And so, like, I can do things, I just need, I need help, you know? Now, my, I don't work. Um, I don't go to work, I don't drive. So most of my days are spent at home. Which I'm fine with, I keep myself busy, you know? I do my art. I do my makeup, which is a form of art. I read. I love to read, as you can probably tell by some of my videos. I was thinking about even doing a series on this channel about like the books that I that I read while I do my makeup, like maybe do a, um, <laughs> like maybe do a thing where I take the colors from the book cover and I do my eyeshadow like the book cover. I've done something like that before on my channel if you guys go like way, way, way back. By the way, I'm just packing and blending at this point. So nothing really exciting is happening. Too much with the eyeshadow right now. And I'm going really high above my crease because I like to cut the crease. And I like to really over dramatic, over dramatic ties my uh my crease this girl in her video also talked about you know um her family and if anyone else in her family has this syndrome and she said no and that's the same thing with me no one else in my family has this syndrome. It's called an accidental something, accidental mutation or something like that. I don't know. My mom told me what it's called, but I forget. But yeah, no one else in my family has this syndrome. And so I do feel different from everyone else. Like, my family is very um, loud and, you know, obnoxious when it comes to their opinions sometimes. And I just kind of, it's hard for me to voice my opinions because everyone else talks so fast. And I, you know, um, it's hard for me to get everything out all at once because of my anxiety and because I, I tend to stutter a lot and also like you know 
she was talking about how her brothers and sisters can just go to school and do fine and learn on their own and my brother you know he has his own life he has a job he has a girlfriend and he goes on trips with her and you know i don't have that i don't work i don't have very many friends like i said i don't have a job You know, my brother, he, he has his life and I stay at home most of the time. And the only trips I do take are with my family and I never really did anything with my, I mean, I did do things with my friends in high school, but it was very, very limited. I don't know how this is turning out. The blending looks fine. It's just I don't like what's going on up here, but I'm going to try to fix it. And that yellow does not want to stay opaque. It seems the more I blend that yellow, the more orange it gets. There we go, that's a little, a little bit better, kind of. Okay, I think that looks good for now. Now we're going to move on to the other eye. And I'm going to take this green shade, also from ColourPop, called Keep Scrolling. I'm going to take that right there. I'm also doing this video because I'm tired of hiding it. You know, I've always kind of refrained from talking about it and it needs to be known. You know, this syndrome is not very well known. And also, I never liked the reactions I got when I told people that I have a syndrome because when people say the word syndrome, they think about, you know, uh, Down syndrome or autism or Asperger's syndrome, you know, things like that, which there's absolutely nothing wrong with. I have known people who have autism and Asperger's and I think that they are awesome. And we all kind of have our niche, you know? Like I have my art and I have my books and I like to read, like I said, and my makeup is my main, main source of art. But I have my coloring books as well and I'm kind of learning how to put colors together and blend and shade and have fun with it. I, another thing that I struggle with when it comes to 22Q is math, which I know math uh, is everyone's not everyone's, but a lot of people's downfall. A lot of people say that they don't like math. 
but I did not get mad. I don't even know how to count like money that well and I know that's not good. Like I know how to count money, I'm just really slow. Another thing too I want to point out is when people learn slower than you, they're not dumb. They just learn a different way. Which we all learn different ways. And nobody should be... Nobody should be talked down to because they have a different way of learning. That's another thing that that girl brought up and I'm really glad that she did because you really don't know what we go through, you know, what anyone goes through, not just with people with fellow hernia, but you know, anyone. I'm not going to take the Certified 2 palette. And I'm going to take, um, no, no, I'm not even going to pronounce that, but this color right here. If I get quiet sometimes, it's because I'm concentrating. This palette and it smells really good. So like, I'm kind of also distracted by the smell of this palette, this Tarte palette. But yeah, I just, you know, Nobody really has this syndrome. I'm not saying nobody. I mean, I'm sure there are other people out there who have this syndrome. And I'm sorry if I'm not learning things right or explaining things right. I'm trying to explain my own ways of life and not taking from what that girl said. Because I don't want to seem like I'm copying her. You know, I just experience a little bit of the same things that she does. That blue shade just blends really well with this green. So we talked about a little bit about illnesses, a little bit about my open heart surgery. I don't remember much about my open heart surgery. I do bits and pieces like of my time in the hospital maybe, but I don't remember a lot about being put to sleep. I actually do a little bit though. I remember when they put the mask over my face for the anesthesia, I dreamt. And I remember dreaming all the way from there. And like, I remember that dream so vividly because it felt so real and felt so scary. So in that dream, while I was undergoing surgery, I dreamt that I was in this room. And it was a long, tall building. And I was little, right? I was like really little. And so everything was so big. And I remember it just being white walls. There were no windows, no doors. I was in just this tall building by myself with white walls and I was looking up and it went straight up this hall building and it was it was very eerie I remember that dream so vividly I don't know what it means I don't know if it was trying to tell me something but yeah I just remember I was in this tall building looking up at the ceiling and it went all the way like you know how in movies where it's just like 
you look up and the camera goes with your eyes and it shoots up to the sky. That's kind of how it was in my dream. I looked up to the sky and it was like I was looking at myself for someone else's eyes. And then I woke up and I didn't really think about anything of it because, you know, you're young. You don't really know what's going on with dreams. You don't really analyze it when you're that little. All right, so now I wish I had like a pastel purple. Hmm. Since this eyeshadow look is looking bright and pastel, I kind of want it to be really, really pastel. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this purple shade from Suva Beauty in Funny Face. When I was younger too, we had some major problems with teachers in the schools. You know, no one believed us. Nobody believed me when when I was sick. Nobody thought I could read um, or speak. Everyone told my mom, like, there is no possible way we can teach her. She will, she will never be able to talk. And my mom was living, you know, she she also went through hell and back with me. But yeah, my mom went through it too with teachers. She had to fight schools to the death with me and for me. You know, she has done so much. For me in terms of getting the right education and me being happy and, you know, she just wanted me happy. We both went through a lot of struggles. But now my life is pretty good because, you know, I'm not, my life is pretty stable. I, my heart is fine. I do, we do get checkups with my heart once a year. And I do have a little bit of leakage. But they say nothing to worry about, just, you know, keep an eye on it and continue my walking, my exercising, my dieting. Because um, I'm sure you guys, most of you who have been here for a while and have seen my past videos, know that I've struggled through with weight. And I'm still, it's still a struggle, you know, to this day. It will always, always be a struggle. And this blue and purple is not wanting to blend. You know, my weight will always be a struggle. And I don't think that has anything to do with my syndrome. I think, you know, I when it comes to weight, you guys can argue with me on this if you want. But I do believe that some, some of it is genetics, but you still can make a change you know, and how you eat and how you exercise and how you diet. It's all up to you, you know, don't blame it on genetics too much. But a lot of the people on my dad's side of the family were overweight. 
And so I definitely think I do get a lot of that from my dad. But I was able to make a change. I said, you know what? I'm not living this way anymore. And I went through a lot with medication as well. I was on a bunch of medication for sleep. I also have trouble sleeping. I've dealt with insomnia for most of my life. You know what, this side is not that blended, but I want to fix it with concealer, so we're going to move on. I'm going to take this, oops, I'm going to take my Michaels brush, you've seen me use this a dozen times doing cut traces. So, I, like I said before, I start... right along that tear duct. I can really, really smell that. Oh wait, do I want to deepen things? No, I kind of want to keep it bright this time around. Oh, I actually really like that. All right, now for the other side.
and one eye never matches, so doesn't really bother me that much. Clean it up. My next glitter glue, which I'm running low on, on. I'm running low on. Oh yeah, but I was thinking, like I was talking about before, on doing a series of like talking about the books that I've been reading while doing my makeup and also um, taking the colors from the book cover that I'm currently reading and recreating the book cover kind of in like with my eyeshadow, if that makes sense. Like do colors from the book with along with my eyeshadow. Into my Violet Voss Rainbow Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Buttercup. Okay, we got the gold. Now, I kind of want to go in with one of these Divina cosmetic shades. Oh, which one? Which one? Which one? Which one is more red? Is it Starfire? Or maybe the orange one, though. Where's the orange one at? This one, it's Sig Cygnus, Cygnus. Ooh, that's so pretty. Cygnus, so we're gonna take Cygnus and put that next to the yellow oh you know what that looks too red too red too red okay abort abort mission abort abort Let's go in with an orange because we need to fix it. I'm going to take gold dipped, or no, old money from the chocolate gold palette. That's really pretty though, but that's not That's not what I'm going for. I 
and now that just made it more copper. Okay, okay, okay. Um, help. Struggling, struggling, struggling. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. That's not what I wanted. Well, I mean, it's orange, I guess, but not one I wanted. Anyway, okay, now I want a red. And I'm going to take my trusty Asylum shade from Sugar Pill that's right there I pressed it it's actually a pigment and you barely need to tap it I have so many palettes open it's like not even funny oh that's pretty 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 Okay, we're trying to fix it. <gasps> I really, really You know what, that's pretty good. Like I said, I'm gonna do something with this huge negative space right here. So yeah. And then for this eye, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to take my glitter, not the same thing with different colors, but I'm going to take my glitter glue, flat brush to take the Alien palette and take the shade Alien the shade right here, this green one.
this is going to take up my whole afternoon. How much you want to bet? It's going to take up my whole entire afternoon. Okay. my desk when I'm done with this. <laughs> what I've been doing is I've been taking my Jeffree Star Drug Lord and my Michaels brush and dip it in there. So I'm going to do the other one off camera and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so I'm back with the final look. I decided to finish everything off camera just because everything was getting way too long so I wanted to hurry up and finish. But yeah, this is the final look. You don't exactly match but I'm actually really happy with it. And so for the bottom, I did the same thing with the Violet Voss palette and just kind of did the same thing with the colors and I fixed some stuff to make it a little bit more even and I took the drug lord and I made like a cool kind of double wing thing and this side is fading already but this side is a lot more uh, opaque and for the highlight on this side I am wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Lucky Clover, and on this side, I'm wearing the Anastasia and Beverly Hills Marshmallow from the Sugar, from the Sugar Glow Kit, and this is from the Moonstone Glow Kit, and for the lips, I am wearing the new Lion King lipstick in the shade Pounce, and this is from Sir John Luminous. I don't know if that's the whole collection or the whole thing, but uh, this is what the lipstick looks like. And it was really, really matte that it actually kind of hurt my lips when I tried putting it on. So I had to put some of the Dose of Colors liquid lips, um, lip gloss over it called Save the Date. And yeah, the final look. Oh, for the blush, I did the same thing. As I did in the other video, I have been using the Juvia's Place um, shade right here for my blush and contour. Same thing as always. What's it called? The Urban Decay Naked little bronzer thing. And then for the eyes, the eyebrows, I used, I think, Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker for this eyebrow and for this eyebrow I use designer blood from Jeffree Star so yeah that is the final look and I actually really really like it 
and I love how it looks with my hair. It looks kind of cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about 22Q. I really want to do bring more awareness to this disability, and maybe do a second part about it because there's still some stuff that I didn't fully get out that I wanted to talk about, but. Yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Please leave a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you want to. Of course, you don't have to, but I do try to put out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. I'm going to try and put Saturday in there. The Saturday is kind of hard because the weekends are a little bit busy for me because my mom is home during the weekends and we try to do stuff when my mom is home. So. Yeah, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Have a good one.